Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of March. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNG Bears and ECM Ensembles. Maybe run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the beginning of April. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video release today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released the weekend forecast and the EC42 day -up. So if you would like, then please do you like, share and subscribe. Check out all of today's video content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. We need to put on around 60, 70 subscribers to get ourselves at 218.1k. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe. It would be amazing and incredible. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Right, let's start off with the Arctic Oscillation today, I think. This is how the AO observed and forecast chart is looking the black line shows where we've been with the arctic oscillation red lines of the m with the gfs ensembles are forecasting the arctic oscillation to go so at the moment we're negative with the um ao after being very positive with it through the uh, second half of february and the GFS Ensembles are forecasting that the AO is going to stay in negative territory through towards the last stages of March, actually, certainly to the uh, third week of the month. So, of course, the choice of weather that's driving index, really, so that the AO is negative there, so that we've got a blocking area of high pressure somewhere over the Arctic and the North Pole. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, we're going to get cold from it, because blocking is the route to push cold out of the Arctic and Pole and down into mid-latitude. But where the block sits is always the critical factor. At the moment, despite the negative AO, um, we're not overly cold. But we haven't got a Scandinavian high, but there's no real source of cold air with the uh, easterly winds that we're pulling in right now. Um, this shall be NEO, observed and forecast. Well, again, black line shows where we've been with the NEO, red lines of the air with GFS, or Sobers forecasting, the NEO to go. We're around neutral at the moment with the North Atlantic Oscillation after being positive throughout much of the second half of the winter. Um, so the NEO is predicted to go weekly negative in the next week or so before returning back close to neutral into the second half of March. Overall, nothing overly dramatic taking place with the uh, NEO there. Um, so we've got the NEO sort of neutral to negative. We've got the AO in negative territory. That could be an indication to turn things colder, but not a huge amount of sign of that within the uh, model output at the moment. Now, essentially, the temperature hasn't updated from Hadley, so we shall move on from that and we'll bring you the update from them uh, when we get it. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. So we're starting off close to a little bit above average with the upper air temperature at the moment. Nothing that dramatic going to happen over the next few days. But later on next week, the upper air temperatures are picking up. And also, like things will be turning uh, milder from the middle of next week onwards through to next weekend. And then maybe starting to cool down a little bit again into the uh, second half of March. Again, though, nothing particularly dramatic showing up within the model output, I have to say. But it's quite a bit scattered, I suppose, in this um, last part of March period. So, you have got some quite cold on some down here, but equally got milder ensemble members up there. So, quite uncertain, I think, as we go into the uh, third week of March. Still regular precipitation spikes, so more wet weather to come through the rest of this weekend. Then we do get a dry slot, though, through the early part of next week, but the rain comes back later next week, and it looks pretty unsettled, actually, through the uh, second half of March there. Temperature anomaly is on the uh, 9th, 17th March, coming out above average, rather than average week to come. And precipitation anomaly is from the 9th, 17th of March, wetter than average in southern and western regions, driving an average in northern and eastern areas. Latest wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that we've got high pressure again over Scandinavia. 
while on low pressure is sitting to the west of the Bay of Biscay. And we're bringing a wind from the east. As I said yesterday, if we'd had a cold source of air up here somewhere, then uh, this would have been a very cold easterly. And say this is having January, when of course it was freezing cold in that part of the uh, continent and that part of Europe, then uh, we would have turned very, very cold and, and stormy. And with low pressure itself sending up wet weather, uh, we would have been seeing uh, seeing snow and whatnot. However, there's no particularly particular cold source of air to our east, so all we're going to get this weekend is a load of cold rain. <coughs> so, sorry, everybody. Right, ladies and that. No, what I'm talking about. Let's do the chart data. <laughs> right, this is how the UK that you're run. It's looking for midnight on Tuesday. High pressure to uh, the North East. Begin to ease away. Low pressure developing in the Atlantic, and as we go through the middle of next week, get a ridge setting up to our south, and with low pressure out to the northwest, that brings the wind up from a southerly direction, so turning up milder as the week progresses, but also more unsettled as well, these areas of low pressure and their weather is advancing in from off the Atlantic, bringing outbreaks of rain with them, check out the weekend forecast more about that, this is how the uh, icon model is looking, again, my skin name high, eases away through the early part of next week as winds turn to the south to so south east that brings milder air up from the south but there will be outbreaks of rain with areas of low pressure heading in from off the atlantic so turning wet there up to uh, midday on saturday okay and a, uh from south korea looking like this so again mild southwest wind but also more unsettled through the second half of the next week and then we go back to high pressure towards Scandinavia right at the very end, gets us towards the 20th, 21st of March, where we are putting in the easterly wind once again. I have some colder air sitting over Germany and the Low Countries. The uh, GFS midnight run again, bringing up those southwesterly winds through the middle part of the week with outbreaks of rain as well. Looks very unsettled at the end of the week and into next weekend. A little bit cooler as well as we go into towards day 9 and 10. The trough of low pressure shifts away to the east, heights rise a little bit towards Iceland, and that pulls wind into more of a northerly. Then high pressure builds again over to the east, country, relatively, relatively dry and mild as you move up towards the end of the GFS midnight run. That's 25th of March as far as we get to. The South GFS 6 z is looking once again. We're pulling up those southerly southwest winds through the middle part of the week, turning milder, but also more unsettled with low pressure. Heading in from off the Atlantic, bringing outbreaks of rain at the end of the week and into next weekend. And then up to day 10, we keep those southwest winds going, so stays mild up to the 19th of March, but also unsettled with further rain to come. And the low pressure just keeps on coming, really, right back to the 25th of March. It's not much of a sign of a break. More low pressure to the north of the Atlantic, high pressure down towards the Azores and Spain, and uh, winds generally westerly. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about the as well as we thank you so much everyone, everybody for doing that. 60, 70 subscribers will get us to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub to your friends and family to subscribe, it would be amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, GM again with high pressure easing over Scandinavia by Tuesday as heights rise to the south. That pulls wind up to a southerly southwesterly with low pressure in the Atlantic turns biota but wetter for the second half of next week. We keep low pressure coming into the weekend of 16th, 17th of March with further outbreaks of rain but also relatively mild temperatures. Well, that's a setup for day 10. High pressure begins to start building a little bit from the south, turning a bit drier then but also uh, very mild potentially. And uh, the East Gem rounding it all off with, uh, again, those southerly southwesterly winds setting in through the middle part of the week. A lot of dry weather midweek as well as that ridge, but low pressure gathering in the Atlantic will eventually start to bring outbreaks of rain in from off the Atlantic. Maybe not quite as unsettled, though, with the East Gem as most of the other model output for the second half of next week, but does eventually get there with low pressure taking over, bringing outbreaks of rain in from the west. That's a setup with the East Gem by day 10. Possibly the Scandinavian high begin to fight back a little bit. Um, so that could be shifting towards something a bit drier and cooler, maybe by day 10. This is my precipitation forecast based on that Eastern run from Tvetcher.com. Lots of rain coming up from the south overnight tonight 
and into tomorrow. Plenty of uh, rain around. Tomorrow looks a pretty cold, dull, wet day, I have to say. Bit of a, du <laughs> bit of a duvet day, I think. Duvet and Star Wars uh, Sunday tomorrow. Um, that to show rain eventually eases off, eases off though into uh, Monday, but Monday will also be a pretty cloudy, dank, cold sort of day. It's not until the middle of next week, but we turn drier then, um, and also milder as well. A couple of drier days should be a part of next week, and then shower rain start to come back in from off the Atlantic by next weekend, and that's a setup for day 10. This is Yacht Shopper Table within the ECM Ensemble Day 4, day 10. For the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 19th of March. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM Ensembles, all of them. Seeing high pressure to uh, the north and around, that will bring the wind in potentially from a bit of an easterly uh, direction. So the Scandinavian high packs fighting back by day 10. In two time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 24th of March. High pressure blocking around Greenland with uh, these 24. Low pressure over to South Coast. That looks potentially cool and unsettled. Maybe slightly wintry, although it's getting late on to be talking about wintry potential. But you can get wintry conditions into uh, the latter part of March even. So, uh, anyway, it looks unsettled and quite cool at the very least. 14 high pressure blocking around green and ice and low pressure over France. Winds in from an easterly direction. And then 13 with high pressure out to west of the northwest country. Mostly dry. Could be a little bit on the chilly side. And then CFSB2 finally. These are 500 millibar high to break breakdown into a week period. So first week period. We'll take us from the 9th to 15th of March. So the next week we'll have uh, low pressure to the south. High pressure will be to the northwest. This weather therefore will be in the south. Week 2 is going to be the 16th to 22nd of March. Low pressure coming back in from off the Atlantic. Unsettled but milder with more of a southwesterly type flow. Week 3 <laughs> is going to be the 23rd to 29th of March. Low pressure again just out to our west. Unsettled but relatively mild with winds in from the southwest. And rounding all up will be week 4, which is the 30th of March, the 5th of April. Low pressure again rooted to our south and southwest. High pressure to the north and to the northeast. Still quite unsettled but relatively mild with winds in a southerly or southeasterly direction. Not a mixed bag, but it's not particularly convincing either way what's happening here, I don't think, into the second half of March. Overall, I think just saying quite mixed. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't get to tell friends about guys well, this. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, I should just tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 f UK weather forecast. The second update for summer 2024 will be released tomorrow. And then we're live at 6 o'clock with our 10 to 14 day. And no doubt, as it's a Sunday live stream, we'll add some long range into that. As well. So I shall see you tomorrow at 6. But for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Saturday and bye for now.